Hi guys, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really adorable Christmas wreath. So, yeah, let's get started. The supplies for this tutorial, you will need green clay, red clay, blue clay, purple clay, and yellow, and light, almost neon green. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to make a red clay into a long snake. Okay, after, after you've done so, you're just going to want to measure how big you want your Christmas wreath. And then cut it. And then reassemble it again. Okay, so after you've done that, you're going to want to smush the Christmas wreath down. So that it gets thicker. Make sure the circle inside is kind of um, still preserved, like it's still circle-ish. Okay, so now we're going to take a tin foil ball and we're going to just texture the whole thing really, really well. Even the sides. Okay, after you've done texturing the wreath, it should look something like this. So now that you're done with that, you're going to make a long snake of red clay. <clears throat> so when you're done with that, you're going to just smush it down. And then you're going to turn it over and kind of smooth down the kind of bumpy sides. So then you're going to want to cut a little bit off Smush it down a little more until you get what you like. And then you're going to cut that strip in half. And then you're going to want to fold the bows over like this. So do that to both sides. Okay, so I didn't make mine slightly bigger, but as you can see, I've attached it to one side of the top of the wreath and then the other side. Then you're going to want to kind of push up the bow. Then you're going to want to roll out another snake of clay and flatten it out again. Then you're going to want to cut it in half. Okay, after you've cut it in half, you're just going to want to take the bottom and from the edge of the bottom to the top, you're going to want to cut and cut to make a little nook shape on the bottom. Then you're going to want to take the wreath and attach to the top. And do that to the other side as well. Okay, so after you've attached those two little pieces, it might be a little big, so try to like put it off to the side so that you can see the middle more. Then you're going to want to take the leftover, if you had one, of the long flat strand and place it in the middle. Like so. So there you have your boat on your wreath now. Next, you're going to want to take tiny, tiny little balls of clay. Really, really tiny. And you're going to want to roll them out about that big. And you're going to just want to press about three to four of each color on the wreath. Make sure they're super tiny because they're supposed to be light. I usually like adding one color at a time, but you can do it any way you please. So yeah, that's how you make a Christmas wreath. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and bye.